Hey guys, we're Pushing Film. My name is Hashem. My name is Nick. We're film photography enthusiasts. That's right. And we decided to start this channel as a resource for film photographers out there, whether they've already been into it or they've decided to get into it. And we're going to talk about the whole process from the very beginning, from a roll of film to the very end product, which might be a print or whatever you want to do. We'll be talking about our own photos, um, books that really inspire us. We'll be doing darkroom. Um, starting your own print by yourself. Also, we'd be doing film comparisons. Try to get your own film that you like, quick and easy, without trying over so many different products. And also, we'd be doing interviews. Lots of very good photographers here. Um, that would, The work is just amazing. We would like to put it out there so more people can actually see it. Because we know that a lot of people, for example, have a big interest in film, but they don't know, for example, how easy is it to process your own film and is it as hard as people make it sound? Is it cheap? Is it expensive? What do I need? I'm sure there's a lot of guides out there but we want to be more of a local resource um, especially Melbourne, Australia and probably all of Australia but we're just big enthusiasts and we want to do this for you guys so if there's anything you have suggestions for future episodes we're open to hearing about that. Now we thought we'd talk a bit about ourselves and why we like shooting film Nick, yep. you've got your Leica M6. Yeah, my Leica M6. Um, should legend. Be, should be covering it up. Um, it actually distracts me when I'm shooting. Yeah. Uh, I'm basically a rangefinder person. I really like, on when I'm on the street, the rangefinder is just perfect for me. Um, it took quite a while to get used to, but right now, to me, it's like every single day. Something in my bag that why, I have to Why rangefinder? Range fighter because I got tricked into getting a Leica because of the red dot. <laughs> is that why? No, the range finder is when you're looking through the range finder patch, you're not seeing through the mirror. Yeah. So actually, anything that you see is actually through a glass. So it's actually crisp clear, and also at the same time, you can use your other eye to look at your surroundings, and you can see what's walking into your frame. Peripheral vision. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Right. Cool. And why film? Why film? Because when I shoot digital, I shoot a thousand images and yeah. I go home and delete 900 of them. That's exactly right. I exactly. Yeah. And I'm limited 36 or even 24 sometimes. So would you say film makes a person more accurate? I would say it slows you down. It slows you down. It makes you think more and yeah. exactly think about yourself and what you want yeah. from your camera and how, how to achieve what you see in, into your final print. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm going to grab my, my daily shooter is Nikon the FE. Nikon FE, really simple uh, film SLR. This is what I like to shoot with on a mostly daily basis. Um, different from a rangefinder and there's what you see is what you get. But the reason I like shooting film is for similar reasons. It's the, it slows you down and it makes you think about what you're shooting. It's not just a matter of spray and pray and just hope you get a good shot because with film you've got to think about your settings, your shutter speeds, everything you're doing and it results in more of an art process. It's not just about snapping away yes, and snapping. hoping for the best. So um, why 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 uh, 50 mil? It's a normal point of view, I find. It's kind of like what what you see in your your actual yeah, vision. True to yeah. What with, you without exactly. so much peripheral. But I still myself haven't you know, set down on a certain focal length. I like shooting 35 and I like shooting other Try lenses. Try different things all yeah. the time. Yeah. So, um, this channel basically is for you guys. If you have any questions, um, please leave below in the comments. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Please do tell us what you like to see from this channel. Definitely, because we're, we're doing this channel for you, like we mentioned, and if you have any ideas on what you would like to see an episode on, we are completely open to hearing that. And in the next week's episode, we've got our interview with Eric Kim. Kim. Yeah. yeah, so Eric he Kim. was in Melbourne recently doing a street photography workshop. And we're going to you know, edit that and show it to you guys next week. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thank you.